The calendar has four seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. The church also has seasons. Right now, we're in the 40-day season of Lent. After that, we'll be in the 50-day season of the Easter season. An ordinary time is 33 weeks out of the year. But do you know the shortest season of the church year? It's three days long, and I bet you know the names of those three days, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Holy Saturday. It's called the Sacred Triduum, Triduum, T-R-I-D-U-U-M, Tri, T-R-I, Three. It's the Sacred Three Days, or the Easter Triduum, or the Easter Three Days. And in this season, it's not business as usual. Our lives can be very different during this time because it's such an intense time for us who are followers of Jesus Christ. Do you know that there's only one liturgy on these three days? And it's a continuous liturgy. I'll prove it to you. When you go to Mass on Holy Thursday, it, the Mass will start as it always does. There'll be the sign of the cross, an entrance procession, an entrance song. But at the end of the Mass, there won't be the usual conclusion because nothing's concluding yet. So we'll leave in silence, maybe to go home, preferably to stay a while and watch with Jesus in the repose, blessed sacrament. And then when you come back on Good Friday, it won't start the same as you usually start when you come to church. There won't be a sign of the cross, no entrance procession, no uh, entrance song. We'll simply start with the readings. And once again, when the service is over, you, we're not going to have a final blessing, no final song. We're going to leave in silence. Why? Because nothing's finished yet. When you come back for the Easter Vigil, which is the biggest liturgy of the year, Again, there's no entrance song. We will have the lighting of the Easter fire, and then we'll go into the readings. And it's only at the end of that particular liturgy that we have a final song and a final blessing. It's one continuous liturgy that begins on Holy Thursday, ends at the Easter Vigil. Now, when you go to a football game or a basketball game, do you just stay one quarter? If you go to a play that has three acts, do you only watch one act? You know, these three need to stick together. You're encouraged to go to all three, not just pick out one or two, unless that's absolutely necessary. And these three days should have a totally different feel at your home and in your school. Could the days be quieter? Could these days have more prayer? Could we try to turn off some TV and mobile devices? Could we have simpler meals and, and maybe no dessert? Parents, this is your big chance to teach your children about sacred time. And children, do everything you can to help your parents make these days sacred. All of you who are disciples of Jesus Christ, attend all three services. We call ourselves followers of Jesus Christ. So on Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and the Easter Vigil, where else would you be?